Good morning, everyone. On this Tuesday in the 20th week in Ordinary Time, we are reading in the book of Judges. We're in chapter 6, verse 11 through 24a. The angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebith in Ophrah that belonged to Joash the Ebizite, while his son Gibeon was beating out wheat in the winepress to save it from the Midianites, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, The Lord is with you, O champion. Gibeon said to him, My Lord, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are his wondrous deeds of which our fathers told us when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? For now the Lord has abandoned us and has delivered us into the power of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and save Israel from the power of Midian. It is I who will send you. But Gibeon answered him, Please, my Lord, how can I save Israel? My family is the lowliest in Manasseh, and I am the most insignificant in my father's house. I shall be with you, the Lord said to him, and you will cut down Midian to the last man. Gideon answered him, If I find favor with you, give me a sign that you are speaking with me. Do not depart from here, I pray you, until I come back to you and bring out my offering and set it before you. He answered, I will wait your return. So Gideon went off and prepared a kid in a measure of flour in the form of unleavened cakes, putting the meat in a basket and and the broth in a pot. He brought them out to him underneath a terabith and presented them. The angel of the Lord said to him, Take the meat and unleavened cakes and lay them on this rock. Then pour out the broth. When he had said, when he had done so, the angel of the Lord stretched out the tip of the staff he held and touched the meat and unleavened cakes. Thereupon a fire came up from the rock that consumed the meat and unleavened cakes, and the angel of the Lord disappeared from sight. Gideon, now aware that it was it had been the angel of the Lord, said, Alas, my Lord God, that I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. The Lord answered him, Be calm, do not fear, you shall not die. So Gideon built an altar to the Lord and called it Yahweh Shalom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, yesterday we read kind of like the pattern that we're going to see within the book of uh, Judges. And here we have Gideon, uh, the calling of Gideon as a judge. And so we're, the, the setting is that Israel is being bombarded by the Midianites and they're losing. And so God calls Gideon to be the one to save Israel in this case. But it takes a sign for Gideon to really take to heart that this is the Lord actually calling him. And so we have this great act that is done by the angel of the Lord to consume the offerings that Gideon had prepared. We don't always have these great signs in our own life. In fact, most of the time we, well, for the vast majority of us, we don't have that. But we do see signs every single day of the grace of God in our lives. Sometimes it's hard to see it, but God's grace is constantly at work in his creation and in our lives. We just got to stay astute and listen and take the time to listen to the Lord. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we get to see each other soon. Bye for now.